All right, guys, so let's continue with the part two of the tutorial. And uh, I had left you, you had finished to do the main part of the body of your oversized cardigan and the two front side panel, the right and the left one. And now we are going to continue and we are going to create the back of your cardigan. So you put your work in front of you and you have your right side panel with the v-neck side on the right and your two bow ties. You skip that and you are going to count from the right, the bottom of the right panel, you're going to count four stitches one, two, three, four, and you're going to pass your crochet hook in the fifth stitch, which is in fact the sixth stitch right before the bow tie, and you're going to join your yarn. Chain one. Once you have joined your yarn, you are going to single crochet in that same stitch. There you go. So this space that you left will be for building your sleeves a little later. And right now we're just going to continue our bow tie pattern by chaining eight. And then skipping the bow tie and making your six single crochets. And you're going to continue like that along the back of your work, the first row of the back of your work, until you have five bow ties separated by your six single crochets. And I'll meet you at the end of the fifth bow tie. One, two, three, four. And now we're making the fifth one. So chain eight for the last one. And then to end your first row of your back, you're just going to make one single crochet and then you're going to chain one and turn your work around. And you should have four stitches left untouched before the other side panel. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the first stitch for the second row of your back. And for the second row of your back, you're going to chain eight you're going to skip the chain eight and then you are going to make two single crochets and turn the next two one into one by decreasing and then making two more single crochets so you will have five single crochets right there in between the two first bow ties and chain eight And again make two single crochets and then single crochet two together decreasing turning the two next stitches into one and continue so you will have five single crochet in between your chain eight and that's what you are going to do all along your second row of your back So you're going to have one single crochet, chain, chain eight, and then five single crochet, chain eight, five single crochet, chain eight, all along your second row until the next single crochet. And for your third row, again, turn your work around, chain one, make a single crochet in the first stitch, chain eight, and now make a single crochet in each of the five stitches in each of the five single crochet from the previous row. And from row four to eight, you're just going to continue in pattern, creating your bow ties and uh, having in between these bow ties, five single crochets. So one single crochet, chain eight, or whatever you have to do to create the bow tie, and then five single crochet, chain eight, five single crochet, five times until you reach the end of your row, and then single crochet and turn around and up to the next row until you are at the end of your row eight. And 
And for the row nine, you're going to chain eight and then you're going to make two single crochets. And you're going to decrease turning the two next single crochets into one and that will leave you four single crochets in between your bow ties and then chain eight and again make a single crochet in the next two stitches decrease turning the two next one into one and continue like that and then one more single crochet and continue like that all along your ninth row and i will meet you at the end of your ninth row and now you're just going to continue in pattern with four single crochets in between your bow ties until the end of row 16 and at the end of row 16 and you are done with your back so once you are done with the 16th row of your back, do not fasten enough and you're just going to assemble both of your upper part of your back and the upper part of your front panel. Of course you make sure that you are assembling on the wrong side of your work for the shoulders. So when you turn it back to the right side, the seam will be unnoticed. And you're going to assemble by slip stitching, matching stitch to stitch, bow tie to bow tie. We're assembling the first single crochet together. And then inside the chain three, you are going to assemble the three chains together. One, passing your crochet hook through one chain and then to the chain on the opposite side and slip stitching through those chains of your bow tie. And then through the middle single crochet that you had made to create that bow tie, you're going to pass your crochet hook through this single crochet and the one on the other side. And then slip stitching, continuing to assemble through that first bow tie. and putting those single crochets in front of each other and slip stitching it together as well. Slip stitching through the second bow tie, exactly the same way, three slip stitch in the three chain, one in the middle, in the single crochet and then the three chain and ending at the last single crochet and the single crochet from the back as well. So you just assembled two bow ties from the back and the only two bow ties from your front panel. Then you take your scissors and you fasten off and you're going to repeat that exactly the same thing or the other side of your front panel, attaching it to your back. All right, and now for the sleeves. So now that you have assembled your front panel and your shoulders, you have an opening left for the sleeves right there. And you're going to actually switch from the eight millimeters and take your seven and a half millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to take your yarn. Let's create these sleeves. So here is the armhole opening. This is the shoulder seam. Go down to the bottom of your armhole opening. And you remember those four stitches that we had left? In the middle one, you're going to join your yarn and you're going to make a single crochet in that same stitch you have joined. 
and then in the next you're going to pick up single crochets all along one side of your armhole opening pick up the stitches as they come so one stitch per row you see the chain eight from the side so that's four stitches per bow tie and since we had four bow ties you should have about 16 stitches going up the side of the armhole opening so 16 stitches up one side and you meet that seam up you can make one extra stitch in the seam if you want and you're going to do exactly the same thing going down the other side of your opening Make sure that you have the same amount of stitches on one side and on the other, that's really what matters. So you have a symmetric sleeve. And we are going to be crocheting in the round now. So take a stitch marker just to put it and to mark where your round begins and ends. Here is my beautiful stitch marker, my rebel curl one, and then you're going to just single crochet around and around and around for as long as you want your sleeve to be i did it for 42 rows and that actually was the size of my arm but of course you should try yours on and see um, what fits your arm some people have long arms some people have short arm it depends and then for the 43rd row, we are going to begin to decrease. And to decrease, I just made three single crochets and then turned the next two one into one stitch by single crochet two together. And that's what I did all around that 43rd round. Three single crochet and then single two together. Three single crochet and single two together all around that 43rd uh, round. And that's what will create our um, puffed sleeve. It's the bottom of the sleeve and we're going to puff it down and we are going to create the little ribbed ending of your sleeve. And voila. So I am done with my 43rd round. I'm just going to finish it by making three single crochets. Voila. Putting my stitch marker there. And for my 44th round, I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then single crochet two together, turning the, those two next single crochets into one. And I am going to do that all around my 44th round. There we go, that is the end of my 44th round. And for my 45th round, I'm going to single crochet one and then single crochet two together all around. Single crochet one and two single crochet together all around that 45th round. I will meet you at the end of the 45th round. And now it will be time to create the ribbed edge of our sleeve. It's going to be like the bottom border. So what we're going to do now for your 46th round is one round of double crochet all around. You see how it's puffing down and that's exactly the shape we want for this bow tie oversized cardigan. All right, one round of double crochet all around. And then to finish this beautiful sleeve for the next two rounds, since we are uh, crocheting in the round, it's going to be two rounds of front post double crochet.
At the end of your third round, you are going to take your scissors and fasten off and you are done with your sleeve. And you're going to do exactly the same for the next sleeve on the opposite side. And I will need you to show you how to create the border. And the final touch is the border. It's super easy. You're going to go to the front of your work and you're going to go at the left bottom part of your sweater, right at the corner, and you're going to join your yarn and single crochet in the same stitch you joined. And then the first stitches that you will see will be the double crochet from the border, and you're going to make two single crochet in each of those posts from the double crochet coming from the side of course and then after that you're going to pick up one single crochet per row and you're going to go all along the side of your sweater creating that single crochet border so go all the way up the body of your work coming from the side of course now when you reach the part of the sweater where we created the v-neck you are going to still pick up one single crochet per row but it's going to be really right on the side of your bow ties and it's still one single crochet per row along the v-neck side until you reach the shoulder seam and you're going to go around the neck the back part of the neck as well but when you reach the back part of the neck you are going to actually pick up three single crochets from the chain three And then a single crochet in the middle right there in that single crochet to create the bow tie and then three more single crochets in the chain three all right and then you continue picking up single crochets once you are past the shoulder seam all the way along the other side of your cardigan all along until you reach the the end until you reach the bottom part again two single crochets in each of the double crochets from the side and then you turn your work around you chain one and that's it you are going to single crochet in each and every one of the single crochet you just created and you're going to go back and forth back and forth like that for as many rows as you want for the size of your border I had four rows in total one two three four at the end of my four row I took my scissor I fastened off took my tapestry needle so in all the loose tails in the back of my work and just like that you are done creating this beautiful oversized bow tie cardigan now this is totally optional but I wanted to show you something that I did to add some extra touch to my oversized cardigan I took some ribbons and I chose blue because I wear this with my jeans most of the time and I thought it would be really a nice color to match and I just um, cut about 11 inch little pieces and every other bow tie I just attached it to my sweater and how cute just gives that little extra girly touch or a little festive touch here is another bow tie this is kind of a linen color to make it a little softer here is a black color too just in case that's a very Victoria's Secret pink and black I like it too I chose the blue one then I took some fabric glue to secure this to the sweater so it doesn't unravel and yes first I had to put it only at the front like that of that sweater and then 
I decided to put it both front panel and leave the back bare and then eventually I just decided to put them all around in the back, in the front. One space I put a bow tie, then one space I left empty. So anyway, you can play with it. And yes, that's about it. Now we are really done with our oversized bow tie cardigan tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I am looking forward to many more tutorials and in the meantime, happy crochet. Mm -hmm. Love you. Bye.